uh, bed stuff and like accessories and stuff. Yeah. They get neat. Yeah. And it was like, in terms of like between Target and Walmart, I mean, there was no competition. There still isn't probably between the style. Go ahead. And I'm just saying that people have just gone crazy. I mean, people were like blowing up Twitter and on Facebook and going on Target's website. And like one person says, I don't whatever happened to boys will be boys and girls will be girls. And uh, <laughs> someone said Target's gender bending policy is just another feather in the bizarro world's cap. I'm like, are you serious with but this shit? did you see, I don't know if the other one of you saw the guy, mm-hmm. the guy who spoofed Target and yeah. responded oh, to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. He responded to everybody on Twitter as Target and these people were complaining about it and he was being and a complete bitch. And the thing is, these people were dumb enough to, to believe it. it. And he, they were saying, <laughs> stick it up your ass and things like that. I don't know. And they were like, like, oh my God, I'm calling corporate now. <laughs> I'm on the right. phone. I'm like, bitch, you didn't check the blue, blue check mark? Like, <laughs> yes. You were that dumb to just... It is so dumb. I mean, people are so stupid. But that's the kind of people who give a shit are people like that anyway. So. And I, that's why I don't. But that's why I don't understand. There are so many things going on in the world. So much you can put your energy towards. <laughs> because, can... as Jason said, it's the same set of people who are like, you know, boys will be boys, girls will be girls. I'm Christian. I'm you know a right wing you know con- a conservative. Uh, a rebel flag flying, you know, anti gay, anti black, anti everything, Muslim, everything there is. People that's the people who give a shit about this. That's it. Okay. So, well, what about exactly. they should I, should? I should get them signed up on a charity or something. Just they to, need, they need to use their to energy their somewhere else. They're that so passionate, exactly. Um, I did see, by the way, yes, uh, that that Melissa McCarthy had lost a lot of weight. Oh, wow. And I did yeah. want to talk about this uh, as well, Jason, because yeah, I don't know. Do you know how much she lost, Jason? Um, it doesn't guess. say. I'm actually trying to but look guess. up now. I think she um, didn't. I don't know if she ever said. Sure. No, actually, when I think about it, I think when I read the initial article, I think she maybe lost about 30 pounds. Okay. okay but 30 pounds on somebody her size is a lot. That is a lot. And yeah, she, yeah. Because she looks... she's short. I didn't realize how short she was. But she so, still looks amazing, though, compared to what, yeah. I mean, you know, she looks really well, good. Well, I, I like the way she looked before, but, I mean, she looks even better now, so. Well, yeah. So was this like, a progressive thing, or was this like a... Well, what I read her say, I mean, I read about a month ago her some, saying something like she said she wasn't trying to lose weight. She just stopped giving a shit about whether she was fat or not and decided she'd just eat what she wanted. And she stopped obsessing over food, and so she started eating less, and now she's lost weight, and that's what she said. So I don't know if that's true. If she's got gastric bypass, no, she no, she has um, she has a, some pictures on Instagram because um, she's coming out with a clothing line as well. And I guess someone snapped a photo of her and put up on Instagram, and she looks completely different. Um, so yeah, so pretty much it was pretty much letting know she's coming out with a clothing line, and it ranges anywhere from. It starts at a size seven and goes all the way up to a size twenty eight. Wow. Um, and. <clears throat> They snap. They just happened to snap a photo. I don't know if it was like her sister or something, but they put you know post this photo online. Of she her looks really good. She, See, but yeah. oftentimes when um, a larger celebrity tends to lose a lot of weight, people feel like they're not as funny or they're not. I don't think that. I mean, I think that you know what I think it is. I think this is what I think it is. Mm-hmm. I think when someone is 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 obese or really overweight, I mean, you know, really really overweight, like she was. Um, I think that they actually are not seen as a threat by most of the public, or you know, women aren't threatened mm-hmm. by her, men aren't threatened by her. Right. So they just look at her as a funny woman, and so as she begins yeah. to lose weight and she begins to become prettier, as you, if you want to put it that way, and more of a threat, I think people start to see, oh, well, now she's like, you know, a threat to some way. Right. And so I think that's why people start to say she's not as funny, and of course she's going to be just as funny. Right. If you, but if you have an issue with her because she's lost weight, that's why I think. But I, exactly. I, I know that oh. I. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was just saying. I was saying that actually, there's a correction. She lost forty five pounds. Forty five pounds. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot. Um, yeah. yeah. But I, I've never understood why that why people think that big people they associate big people with being like quote unquote jolly. Like they have to be. You know, because funny, of, almost like a comedian type uh, of deal. Okay. Since they lose weight, they're like, oh, they're not funny anymore. Right. Yeah. And that's <laughs> it's what well, I told I you. Because I think oftentimes a lot of people that are bigger, they go through tragic <clears throat> situations in life, which is why they, why they cope with food. And a lot of times when you go through trauma or grow up in a dark household or things, you lean towards funny yeah. to, you know, uh, to make light of situations. Mm-hmm. 
to survive. Just like a lot, of, a, a lot of gay totally. guys do the same thing. That's why a lot of gay guys are so witty, because they have to use their wit to combat the, that bullshit when they're growing up. Exactly. Um, exactly. But yeah, I mean, I wish, I mean, I, I need to lose weight. I, I gained weight, oh my God, this past two years, because, oh my God, it's crazy. But I, <laughs> and I really wish I could lose weight as quickly as she has, but she's lost it in Me like too. a few months, like eight months or something, I think. Right. And yeah, I'm, I mean, she looking good. You looking good. But I always the, use I always use Herbalife to lose weight. I love that stuff. Oh, one weight. of those. See, I, 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 I have a, I have like an, I don't sell it. I'm not selling. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't sell, sell it. it. I buy it, but I'm just saying. Uh, like, I need to no, say I know pounds. how to lose. I, I know. Up. I know how to lose weight. I had a personal trainer and yeah. came to my house, all that stuff, and I did it all. Looked really good years ago. Then, I, like I told you before, I got married and all that stuff, and then we right, we right. fell off the wagon after we got married. But uh, I think that it is um, um, easier, though, if you're, like, super wealthy like they are. And you can have all your meals prepared for you. and You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. And oh, you yeah. have somebody there always to watch what you're eating and right. blah, 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 blah. Or get blah, blah. Lap band and then get, like, skin surgery and blah, blah, blah. Yes. Yeah. And so, I mean, it's so much easier when you're rich to do these things. It's easier to do anything when you're rich, of course. But, I mean, it, to lose weight is just so much easier for them than it yeah. is for most of us. Uh, what were you saying about Jennifer Hudson, by the way, uh, Jason? Oh, I was, um, she cut off all of her hair. She's like... Oh, really? Has that sleek, yeah, she cut off all of her hair. She has like this very sleek, nearly bald, like model-esque type look. Ooh. And, um, she looks amazing. She well, she's got a really good jawline, so I bet that looks really good. Yeah, it, it's really cute on her. It really, really is. I, I love her. Like, I need her to come out with like a pop dance record. Because I feel like all the songs she's done with David Guetta are like fire. But when she sings R&B, it's just not there for me. And I love R&B music, but... I know. Yeah, she needs to be more I mainstream. Agree. More mainstream, right? Yeah, cool. just more mainstream. Her yeah. music, I mean, her music. Yeah, totally. uh, yeah, I, I think she does too. I love her. I loved her ever since American Idol, mm -hmm. and I loved it when she lost, and and Simon was all like, you know, he just was not into her, and then she goes and wins the Oscar, and she goes and wins Grammys, and she, you know, it's just mm -hmm. I just love I love an underdog. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's I'm a good looking. Story. I'm looking at this picture of her on Instagram. It is amazing. She has like such a beautiful face that she has like no hair. I know it's. It's a really nice picture. Isn't she it? has she no amazing. hair, but she is just so beautiful. Oh my god! Wow, wow, bitch is pretty. Anyway, Lucky when is girl. she gonna get married? By the way, she's been with this guy. Yeah, he was on. Uh, he was on. Uh, what reality show is that? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I love New York. Uh, yeah, he's been in a few movies too. Yeah, they've been together for eight years. Yeah, eight but years? What, 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 what? They were they've been engaged for oh, like eight well, years. Yeah. So I'm like, not, <laughs> not just together, but they've been engaged for like about a long time. Yeah. I'm like, and I always look at the guy, and I and I hate to be like this and say this, but I'm gonna say it because that's how I am. I think he's I think he's it's gay to me. I don't know. He's always struck me as gay, and maybe he's not. And he probably isn't. But I always so the fact that he's they've been not getting married for so long always brings up my radar i'm like hmm why are they still not married now what what's the same thing with stedman and oprah i started to say that oprah i don't think oprah the lesbian i don't think stedman's necessarily <laughs> gay uh oh by the way did you ever see the interview that, that oprah gave where she was asked by i think it was barbara walters and she said uh well many people have talked about your relationship with gail and you know she's like going on and on about it. she's like mm -hmm. and she's like and are you a lesbian and she goes I am not lesbian. I've never been lesbian. I, <laughs> <laughs> if I were going to yeah, be, I that. if yeah. I were going to be lesbian, I would be lesbian. It's just the way she said it; just cracked me up. Anyway, uh, but no, I think that maybe I, maybe it's wrong of me to, to assume that. It's just that I, and I don't think she has to get married or anything. I'm just saying, why be engaged that that long? I mean, right. I don't. The long engagements like that don't make a lot of sense to me. But whatever. Mm -hmm. um, Ariana Grande and Bill Cosby's most disliked celebrities, really. Yes. So um, they did a recent poll, and I guess they had people to vote on, uh, I guess, a, a plethora of different types of celebrities, or whatever the case may be. And Bill Cosby and Ariana Grande had, uh, had ranked at the top for the most disliked celebrities. I, I wonder why Ariana. Don't, <laughs> the donut. And she's a bitch, right? Well, yeah, but... Well, she said that she hates America. She did the donut oh, right. thing, okay. and okay. she and I also. Don't think, I don't think her brother has <clears throat> helped. Her I do not like Frankie. Either. I've never liked. Him. I don't. I don't. I don't. Y'all want to hear? Y'all want to hear a really quick funny story? Sure. Sure. 
Let me paint the picture. It's New York <laughs> Fashion Week. <laughs> Third row back, back. Front row is tons of celebrities. Everybody's there. Vivica Fox, Zach Posen, Paris Hilton, Nene Leakes. It goes on and on. Naomi Campbell, the whole thing, right? So um, Frankie Grande is there. Why? I have no damn idea. Sitting in the front row, right? <clears throat> Again, three rows back. So the models are walking. They start playing Bang Bang, okay? Madonna? Tell me why. Wait, Madonna's on? No, but... Jesse J. Oh, see, I don't know. I'm old. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. God, you're so damn old. <laughs> um, yes, it's a song. Uh, okay, it's go a ahead. song with Jesse J and Nicki Minaj <laughs> and Ariana Grande. Okay. And it was a big hit for them. Okay. And um, over the summer, in the spring. So, <laughs> <laughs> so they start bang, bang into the room. Tell me why. He's in his chair doing the most with the gestures and the hair flip and the lip sync. That is Frankie, though. I, I see That it is the way. most obnoxious shit I've ever seen. I call him Thirsty Grande. He is. He's, he's, he's very flamboyant. But did you I guys, mean, did you is. see, do you, either of you watch Big Brother? No. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> well, Michael, my husband and I are obsessed with Big Brother. Mm-hmm. And we, we all have always watched it. We watch it every year. We're watching it now. But he was on there. We, of course, we saw him when he was on Big mm-hmm. Brother. And, and he, we were like, ooh, we just didn't like him. He's annoying right. as fuck. He's just so old to be acting like that. He's just annoying. And the funny thing is, he came in and he's like, and of course, you know, this is right. It's like two years ago or a year ago. I can't remember. It's two years it ago. It was year ago. two years ago. I think ago. it was two years ago. But uh, he came into the show and he's like, well, nobody knows my sister is Ariana Grande. And blah, 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 blah. And so he, he the whole first like half of the show, or the season he didn't tell anybody is mm-hmm. this huge secret and finally mm-hmm. it comes out but when he needs at the last moment to tell people so to save him and everyone's like oh my god your sister's here and oh my god mm-hmm. and I was just like wow I, I didn't even know who she was right. she had know. only had like one song I had yeah. no idea yeah. and he was just acting like she was the shit I was like okay whatever but uh, yeah. Yeah. he acts yeah. the same way and I just always found him to be really annoying I just don't like but him but yeah he's definitely tarnished her legacy I think well I don't think she's helped it she's no better oh no yeah. oh, not at all yeah. and now she's on the new show Screen Queens oh really which, which um, is by Ryan Murphy which I, comes out September 22nd which earlier tonight I went to the preview screening of that so. not did you that, like it that'll be yeah it was fun it's definitely gonna be one of those things that people either love or hate if they don't understand it It's it leans more towards the comedy it's kind of like Mean Girls meets Scream yeah. you know what I mean yeah, yeah. like it just has that funny kind of campy bubble gu- yeah very campy um kind of very like tongue-in-cheek i like it because i like stuff like that things that are like kind of quotable and funny and they're kind of vapid i love that kind of stuff yeah uh but it'll definitely be a love or hate for sure but i think the younger people will like it um but yeah i'm not just, i'm not gonna like it it'll be a short stint for ariana i'll just say that i don't like i don't I, there's just some people that i just in the public eye that i just do not like and I'm sorry, she's I'm the one same of way. I just don't I'm like the exact same way. But yeah, it's just that with Ariana Grande, with all the stuff she that she has been going on recently, and then clearly we know why Bill, Bill Cosby. Cosby. Oh, right. oh, did you guys know that um, three more ladies, so, uh, let me say allegedly, came forward about the whole. I mean, do we him? even care? Do we even care anymore? I, honestly, I don't care at this point. No, I, mean, I care, but I think that. I think that the, to even have to say allegedly is ridiculous after 43 women or whatever have come out right. and said it. I mean, come on. The man is guilty as sin. Right. I mean, you know what I mean? I yeah, mean, I mean, he's completely ruined his... It's, but how legacy. do you separate... Do you, can you separate what he's done, his deeds, from his talent? I didn't grow up watching that show, so I know he... you didn't, I did, but... I love the Cosby Show. Yeah, I grew up watching it I mean, on TV I live. Really love the show. I mean, <laughs> live. I mean, the Cosby Show did he was like, like write the show or produce the show. Or yes, he, he did. Yeah, he, he produced everything. It, he, he wrote okay. it. He did everything. Okay, yeah. yeah, he was a very, he's a very talented man. I'm sorry. I mean, you know, and I don't I, I don't know why. I guess I'm just able to see people objectively. He's a horrible person in his personal life. Obviously, right. he's a, he's a monster in my opinion. Yeah, but he I, seems very mean. He is, but I think that in terms of his talent, he's very talented entertainment industry he is he's very talented and very educated i will give him that. right and it was just um, like um that one guy i don't know if you guys remember i think his name roman polanski or whatever who uh-huh. had been accused of raping some girl in the 70s and he fled the country and then he came back and did a movie like a few years ago 
go. And all of Hollywood was saying, or half of Hollywood was saying, give him the Oscar. And the other half was saying, no, because he raped a girl. And so how do you, that's what I'm saying. How do you separate their talent mm -hmm. from their personality? That, that's just a hard thing, I think.